Across is the endless blue, thousands of circular cages drift in silence, massive rings floating gently on the ocean's surface. From afar, they look like strange shapes scattered across the water, but beneath them lies life millions of fish swimming in rhythm. These structures are part of a revolution ocean aquaculture, a billion dollar industry feeding people around the world. Each floating cage is a miniature factory of biology, technology, and patients producing protein for a growing planet. From the icy coasts of Norway to the warm bays of Vietnam and the coral waters of Australia, these farms are rewriting the relationship between humanity and the sea. At the heart of this global network is salmon, the icon of modern aquaculture. In Norway, Scotland, and Canada, massive offshore cages hold up to 150,000 fish each, monitored by underwater drones and 360 degree or cameras. Sensors continuously record oxygen levels, currents, and water temperature, turning the ocean into a living data center. Artificial intelligence now predicts feed needs growth rates and even market output months in advance. Each year, the world consumes over 2.7 million tons of salmon. Norway alone exports 1.3 million tons generating nearly $12 billion in revenue. From sushi in Japan to sandwiches in the U.S., salmon has become a global staple, the perfect symbol of technology meeting nature in harmony. Before we look at the ocean's fast hunters, let's dive into one of its slowest, most ancient residents, sturgeon, the living fossil that produces one of the world's most luxurious foods, caviar. Each female sturgeon takes nearly a decade to mature. During that time, she's raised in clean temperature, stable waters under precise monitoring oxygen sensors, ultrasound scans, and even hormone testing ensure perfection. When harvest time arrives, every step is performed with surgical precision inside sterile laboratories. The row is gently extracted, washed, salted, and graded by color and texture. Each tiny black pearl caviar represents years of care and patience. A single kilogram can sell for $25,000, making every cage a vault of living treasure. From the Volga River in Russia to the vast and vast inland farms of China, sturgeon farming has grown into a 400 ton per year industry blending ancient tradition with biotechnology. It's not just luxury, it's proof that patience and precision can turn time itself into gold. contrast to the sturgeon's stillness, bluefin tuna never stops moving.
powerful, fast, and built for endurance, these giants once symbolized the wild freedom of the sea. Today, they are also the centerpiece of one of aquaculture's most ambitious industries. Young tuna caught in the wild are transferred into colossal offshore cages, underwater stadiums nearly 80 meters deep. There, they're fed fresh sardines for months until they reach commercial weight between 80 and 250 kilograms. Each harvest brings fortune a single tuna can fetch $50,000 to $300,000 with record breakers selling for over $1.8 million in Tokyo. Yet the industry faces challenges breeding tuna entirely in captivity, remains unstable, and feed conversion ratios are high. Still as research advances, tuna farming is becoming a bridge between conservation and commerce, a way to sustain demand while protecting the ocean's greatest hunters. In Southeast Asia and Northern Australia, the ocean is dotted with small bamboo rafts, each carrying dozens of handmade cages. Inside, fishermen nurture one of the world's most prized crustaceans, lobster. Every morning, they dive to feed and clean the cages. Lobsters are delicate. A sudden temperature change or polluted current can destroy months of work. But for those who endure, the rewards are immense up to $100, the $100 per kilogram, with thousands of families depending on this fragile balance between sea and survival. In Vietnam alone, more than 2,000 tons of lobster are harvested annually. Valued at over $200 million, exported to China, Japan, and Hong Kong. Each lobster carries not just flavor, but the hopes of coastal communities rising from the sea. Unlike other species that need feed or technology oysters farm themselves, they live suspended in clean water filtering up to 200 liters per day, purifying the sea around them. Their quiet work creates both food and environmental restoration. From France to Japan, and the U.S. oyster farms are thriving producing over 5 million tons per year and supporting entire coastal economies. France alone earns more than $500 million annually from oyster farming, while the U.S. sees it as a tool for ecosystem recovery. They leave almost no waste, no pollution proof that aquaculture can give back more than it takes. Two million fish, thousands of cages, and one shared ocean.
From salmon to sturgeon, tuna to lobster, these species form the backbone of a $1 billion global network, feeding millions while redefining how humans interact with nature. Each floating circle represents not just production, but innovation, where AI biology and human perseverance meet. And as climate change challenges our planet's food supply, these farms may hold one of the most vital solutions for the future. Because the true value of these floating cages isn't just seafood, it's knowledge sustainability and the courage to feed the world responsibly.